Hey taxpayers and welcome back to another episode of Stuff and Things. I'm Dan. And I'm Mia. And this is of course our daily news show bringing you stories from Canada. Yeah, that's right, we had a Canadian story. And of course, the world. This is about the world. Taxis suck. We all know it. Benjamin Franklin himself said only two things in life are constant. Death and taxis. It's a necessary burden we place on ourselves so roads can be maintained and schools can teach new generations. But we all have to do it for it to work. Even those big businesses and those big shot CEOs have to pay taxes too, right? Well, not so much if the company happens to be in the UK. According to a recent report released by the news people Reuters, the UK branch of Starbucks has not paid any corporate taxes in the last three years. And before then, it's actually only paid $14 million in taxes since 1998, despite having sales of close to $5 billion. We'll, we'll do the math for you, that's less than 1%. These figures do not account for any property taxes or anything like that, but the numbers really speak for themselves. When the government across the pond talks about hard economic times, maybe they should look at all the lost tax revenue. But don't go thinking this story is actually going to do anything, as everything they're doing is currently on the up and up. It's all legal, and that might be the scariest thing. But that's not all. If you look at the tax rates globally for all overseas income, they're still far below the average of 31% for other corporations, paying only about 13% on average. Those latte peddlers may seem like the worst, but back in April, it was revealed that Amazon, with sales exceeding $12 billion, had also paid no taxes in the UK over the past three years. You know, and they wonder why we complain about corruption and corporate greed. I'd like to play a bit of the devil's advocate with this, because there's a few arguments that can be used for Starbucks in favor of all these tax benefits they seem to be getting. For one, the amount of jobs uh, they've actually created in the UK could, say, offset some of these tax revenues. According to their own numbers, they've created over 5,000 jobs in that same time period. That's a lot of jobs, and that's also a lot of tax revenue they've brought in. And also, you can't really blame a company too much for using a system to their advantage. I mean, it is really the government's responsibility to correctly tax all these corporations. And unfortunately, we live in a capitalist world, and this is kind of just how you succeed in it. So you guys think that the jobs that have been created outweigh the evasion of actually paying taxes? Let us know in the comments down below. And of course, if you've liked what you've seen today, don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button, and we'll see you tomorrow.